This Thursday, more than 300,000 students will let their light shine on their school campuses. Bring Your Bible to School Day is a one-day event that's completely student-directed. Its purpose is to empower students to express their faith in a respectful way that shows the love of Christ. And it's backed by the Alliance Defending Freedom and Focus on the Family. Candy Cushman is an education analyst for Focus on the Family, and she joins us now with more. Welcome, Candy. Hi there. It's good to be with you. You have more than 300,000 students going to school with their Bibles on Thursday. Can you explain the purpose of this movement? Yes, well, just in a nutshell, this is a religious freedom initiative for students nationwide, kindergarten to college. And they are just going to be celebrating their religious freedom and uh, sh talking with their friends, sharing God's hope, uh, just by taking a simple action. Just taking their Bibles to school and talking about why they're doing that and sharing about what they believe in it with their friends before and after class. What do you hope the students who participate in Bring Your Bible to School Day will learn from this experience? Well, you know, unfortunately, we here at Focus have heard from families and also I, I'm sure your audience has seen all the news headlines about students being told things like, you know, you can't do something simple like just bow your head and pray before lunch or have your Bible out at your desk during free reading time. And that's just not correct. That's not correct under our Constitution or our First Amendment. And so we want students to understand what their rights are and just to have a visual celebration of their freedoms and a reminder that they can, you know, share freely about their deeply held uh, religious beliefs. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Some parents may wonder if they are within their rights to send their kids to school with a Bible or even express their faith at school. What's your answer for them? Yes, I would just reassure parents that uh, students have tremendous rights to do something simple like bring their Bible to school, just like they would, you know, with any other favorite book that they have and be able to read that during free time or even talk about it during lunch with their friends. And these rights have been backed up by several decades of court decisions, even up to the Supreme Court. So this is well established. And I think the basic thing to remember, because we hear a lot of phrases thrown around, you know, like separation of church and state. But the fact is that the students are not the state. They are not speaking for the government. They are speaking as private individuals expressing their personal faith. So there's a big difference and they have um, a strong right to do that. There's a lot of concern about religious freedom in today's climate. How do you prepare the students to handle negative reactions from other students or maybe even the school itself? Right, well, we do encourage them to remember that this is all about having conversations. It's not about confrontation. So, you know, you know, it is wise to expect challenges, but to always remain respectful and, you know, that that person in front of you is not going to remember everything that you said, but they are going to remember whether you reflected what you believe, in this case, that, that uh, Christ loves people and was willing to die for them. And so they need to feel Christ's love from you, um, the love of Jesus. And that's what the students want to do is demonstrate that. Um, so we encourage them to remember that, just that it's about conversations. And then if they are challenged on their basic right to participate, you know, to put a poster on a wall or have their Bible at their desk during free time, um, that they can remain respectful. They can show their educator a memo that we provide on their rights to do that that has been put together by the Alliance Defending Freedom. And then if they're still told no, we just encourage them to, you know, respect that uh, uh, education official's authority, but then they can call a hotline that we have available. We have attorneys standing by ready to help students on this day. So uh, there's a hotline and an online form they can fill out later if they had trouble at school and they don't feel like their rights were respected. Candy, how can Christians get more involved in sharing their faith on a regular basis? <clears throat> well, you know, we've seen studies that youth are stronger in their faith when they're able to engage with it like this. And so, you know, participating in events like this and initiatives and being unafraid to engage with the Bible and articulate what you believe is a key part of that. And not only does it empower them in their own faith and strengthen them to be able to articulate what they believe in, um, but it also helps protect the religious freedom of students, you know, that are going to be walking into those schools after them. So, we do encourage parents that it's, it's just healthy for students to um, be encouraged to have conversations, to engage in civic uh, you know, opportunities and events like this whenever they can. And so Bring Your Bible to School Day is a key opportunity for that. Plus, it's responding to the Great Commission in the Bible, that's for sure. That's right. I mean, ultimately, Christians want to share God's love because that love has changed their life. And so they want to communicate that to others. And, and I do just want to mention that, you know, a lot of answers to concerns people may have or questions or, ha you know, fears about what 
uh, what happens if their rights are challenged. Um, they can listen to, to students tell their own stories about that and get information at our website, bringyourbible.org. Okay. Thanks so much. Candy Cushman of Focus on the Family. We really appreciate your time today. Thank you.